Hundreds of trailers belonging to FEMA being taken to a landfill in Prattville to be demolished. Good evening, everyone. I'm Valerie Lawson. Mark has the night off. The trailers were staged in Selma for people affected by natural disasters before the storms hit the city on January 12th. WSFA 12 News reporter Monet Stevens takes a closer look into why these trailers are being destroyed and the concerns from the public. There have been several phone calls to the WSFA newsroom about FEMA trailers being taken to Jettison Environmental in Prattville to be demolished. Two bedrooms, living room, a uh, fully equipped kitchen. They've got the fixtures, they've got the, the sinks, the countertops, the top and bottom, brand new cabinets. Brand new. These trailers were once staged in Selma to be used as a, quote, temporary housing solution after a disaster. But a FEMA spokesperson said in correspondence with WSFA that they were destroyed in the January 2023 storms. The spokesperson added the manufactured homes and travel trailers were disposed of in accordance with a contractual agreement with the owners of the landfill. A woman who wishes to remain anonymous says she found these trailers in the landfill and they still appear to be in good condition. She sent these photos to us from the day she looked inside. I mean, everything in them is brand new. The furniture is still wrapped in plastic. Mattresses, dressers, bunk beds, and dining chairs appearing to be untouched. The woman said these trailers could have been used to help the many people in poverty around Alabama. Why not bless veterans? Why not bless the homeless? Why were they not used? for FEMA, for the, uh, the hurricane victims. The idea of these homes being demolished in the outskirts of Prattville has caused outrage in the community, calling it a waste of taxpayer money. It's unnecessary, unnecessary waste of homes. Well, Val, I asked FEMA how much it's costing the federal government to dispose of these homes and these trailers. The spokesperson could even provide that answer under the federal acquisition regulation. All right, thanks a lot. And FEMA has over 300 units in Selma that were damaged but can be repaired and returned to their stock.